Did you know your phone is a lifesaver? And I'm going to share with you something you may not know, as I just found out myself. After I'd done my research and I posted my video on Will Alexa Call 999 or 911, it highlighted setting up emergency contacts. Now, this is a little different to ICE, ICE. As most Brits know, to put a number in your contact list under the name ICE, meaning in case of emergency, call this person. But there's a big, big problem with that, and I'm going to explain why in a bit. So let's get started. Sadly, in the UK, the news just came out with the potential cause of Nicola Bully's death. The belief is that she was multitasking on her phone, on her Zoom meeting with work, walking her dog by a freezing river, and the inquiry found she drowned after most likely losing her footing while walking on the river's edge, slipping into the river, and she was swept away by the currents. After she went missing, I thought this is a good time to share this information. Even sadder, people saw Nicola's phone on a bench. One passerby did not want to touch it. And another passerby had decided to open it. Strangely, it was still connected to her Zoom meeting. So this gentleman was able to see her photo on her wallpaper that was on the phone. And he recognized her, but she herself was nowhere to be found. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up an SOS on your mobile phone so that you can make emergency phone calls, send emergency information to emergency contacts, and how you can see emergency information without having the pin to unlock the mobile phone if you happen upon a person in distress. And when I researched the statistical relevance of how many people used mobile phones compared to landline calls to emergency services, the stats may surprise you as they did me. So gov.uk has let us know that a national service has been set up for visitors to the UK. And if you are from Europe, dialing 112 will work the same as dialing 999. And if you are from a country that uses 911, that will work also when you are calling for emergency services, as long as you are physically in the UK. And they also tell us that the stats for 2022 reveal that a whopping 35 million people call EMS, that's emergency services, 74% were from a mobile, leaving the remaining 26% from a landline. So that is why I'm going to concentrate on calling EMS from your mobile and setting up safety measures. So what are safety measures? Well, on your mobile smartphone, everyone will have an emergency call button. You can see it there on the screen. If you enable it to show on locked screen, others can see only your emergency information. That way, if they find you in distress, they can contact one of your emergency contacts. Or if you lost your phone, they can return it by getting a hold of one of your emergency contacts. Now, I did not know what that emergency call button was for. I thought if you pushed it, it automatically called EMS or 999-112-911, whatever your emergency services number is. But that's not exactly how it works. Here, let me show you how it works. It's very simple and it's only a couple of steps to set up. So go to your phone settings, scroll to safety and emergency, or you can search in the little search area up above type it in and then it will automatically take you there. Once you get there, you'll see that there a new screen will open up with all your options. So if we start with the SOS option, once you click SOS, another screen will come up and that option will be to make an emergency phone call. Click that as it needs to be enabled. Once that's up, a list of emergency services available will show on the screen. So choose the best one for the area that you're in. Remember, if you're in America, it's 911. If you're in the UK, it's 999. And if you're in Europe, it's 112. And if you're in the UK, 112 and 911 will work. However, if you're in another country, make sure you check to see what their emergency numbers are. For example, smaller countries may not have one number fits all. So they have an option normally that you can uh, scroll down and you can put a custom number in. 
and uh, enter that in there. So if there is an emergency, you'll not be fuffing around trying to figure out who to call as time is essential in an emergency situation. Now let's set up your emergency contacts. This is not the same as emergency services like SOS that we talked about previously. This would be similar to ICE in case of an emergency that you may have listed within your mobile contacts. And this is the reason it is so important to put an emergency contact in the emergency contacts option. This is because if you are not on your phone, then it will normally lock or it will shut off. Then it needs a pin, a fingerprint, or a face recognition. Otherwise, your mobile telephone numbers that are in your contact list are not available as they would be locked. It is easy to add an emergency contact. As you can see on the screen, you can add as many as you like. For example, if you are traveling with somebody, you may want to temporarily add them. And this information would be available to emergency services or to anyone without needing to unlock your phone. Provided you have enabled show on lock screen. Imagine if Nicola Bully's phone was not still connected to her Zoom call. The gentleman that found her would not have been able to unlock it. But the beauty of filling in your emergency contacts will allow someone to push that emergency call button and that information will be available. If Nicola Bully's phone was not able to be unlocked, how long do you think it would have taken police to attempt to unlock it? As when your phone is locked, you don't know whose phone it is and it will take a long time to investigate. So that's just some food for thought. Another feature that newer smartphones have is a countdown. And a countdown is kind of like a one-stop shop. So if you've programmed in your medical info and your emergency contacts, then this option will activate and you can follow instructions. Uh, you can send a message and a photo. And once you've activated that uh, emergency call button that I showed you at the beginning of this film, you'll get an alert sound. Now it's very loud and it sounds very similar to the government emergency alerts that uh, I did a video on. Uh, so you can check out that. But if that, if you've activated that, then um, that sound will come up and it might just be enough to scare off an offender. Um, so check that out, uh, you know you can um, test it to make sure it works. The next thing I want you to know is that once you've activated the um, emergency call button and you've got your alert and you say, yes, I want to go through with this. And um, but you'll have to be able to speak to the police. If you cannot speak to the police, please watch my video on calling the emergency services and you can't talk as it gives really vital information on what you should be able to do and how you can communicate with them. From a mobile, please do not have your location. So I think it's a really good idea to use the buddy system, which I'll just talk about in two seconds. So if you haven't heard of the buddy system, it originated when work colleagues operate together they would share their coming and goings and they would know who to contact if there was a concern. So the idea is that if you're at higher risk, such, you know, you could be an estate agent showing a house on your own. Uh, you could be leaving work late. So the idea is that you would let someone know and if you didn't return home safely or they didn't hear from you, that you were home safely, then they would start uh, trying to contact you or finding out where you are. So the difference with this uh, mobile emergency sharing um, is slightly different to, let, let's say, if you're using WhatsApp, then you're, you can share your live location, you can send a message and everything. But this is uh, has that added extra protection so you can do that as well, but someone else can unlock that information 
and contact one of your emergency contacts for you if there is an emergency. So, um, and uh, if you watch my video on will Alexa call 999 or 911, I discuss how um, that works when you send the message and then they con they might have to contact the police for you. Um, so yeah, that just, it's like an added protection. So now you know what that little emergency call button is for. It's uh, got a lot more meaning than I ever thought it had. So I hope this information has helped you or someone you know. Well, I hope you found today's video interesting and information is power. Why not subscribe and watch more of our videos? If you need legal help, contact Legal Minded Friends.